that time is really hard for me is like my family is really poor and they cannot take care the, the payment the fee for the school anymore so I, I I have to stop everybody like talking about like which school and which school new choice I feel really, really sad because like I cannot go more and I, I choice is okay I for forgot like dance I have no way back anymore so I have to go ahead be honest with yourself like who you are now because then it changed me and helped me a lot and I think it can change you guys and can help you guys a lot too <laughs> Stay tuned, stay curious, and Culturation Podcast. MC Pop, welcome to the show. Uh, I'm so honored. I'm so glad you're you're here. Uh, not only because you know you come a long way, so I appreciate you uh, coming from Vietnam and uh, making time to be on the show. On a um, personal level, I'm very honored that I get to interview uh, a dancer of your caliber and one who's Vietnamese. So yeah. that's a new experience for me. So thank you for coming on the show. I really appreciate it. Yeah, me too. I really appreciate like for bringing me here, for talking something about like dance and about like culture. So yeah, one more time is my English is not really good. So I will try my best to like say everything like I talk and I, yeah, I want to show something for me. To okay. everyone, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No worries. You know, um, I think you're doing a fantastic job. And yeah, yeah. we're going to um, tell your story together. So first, um, let's start out with popping, right? Um, popping is a very specific style from America. Considering that you're from Vietnam, how did you get exposed or get introduced to the style? Actually, like, I know about Tristan around 2000. For 2005 because like, i watching the the movie you got surf yeah so i know the the trick then from that movie and still that time like i i, I didn't know like what what is calling like it treat then or like they call it breaking popping i don't know about that i just see like i love to see people like dance i just love them and then like after that like i think around 2006 or seven yeah after that like i know like for my friend and they, they told me oh it's popping it's breaking it's hip-hop and that time like i watching like, a lot of tv show from us like american like bed and crew like i know like java Walkie. and then i know i, I research more a lot about dancing so that time like i try to copy a lot like people dancing and then yeah if i Oh, it's popping. So I know it's popping and I fall in love with popping a lot that time. Yeah. Yeah. So considering that you were exposed to different styles in the beginning, whether it's breaking, uh, popping or uh, one of the other styles that was represented on the shows that you saw, what about popping that stuck with you? Like what about popping that you fell in love with? Because like, I, I, I got that question a lot and until now I'm still like, I don't know the act exactly the answer for me but I know every time like I saw the, the papa when he dance I feel like I feel touch and I feel like really cool for me and the first papa I watch is like David Elhue like from the movie also and I know like when I saw papa when he dance I feel like it's something really special for me because like they can show me the the story they, they, they did and they, they show me like on the movie have the meaning and also like show me a lot of things like from the music and also the, the character and the attitude when they then the popping. I know like until now like same like when I finally I met some OG like I can see them like re realize I feel like still like wow how and why they can be like that and for me like popping really special for me until now yeah uh not everyone may know this about me because i am more known as a house dancer now right yeah but uh i actually got introduced to popping around the same time frame too so would you say that 
there's a magical component about popping that's um, that maybe is not as prevalent in other dances. Like I think Mr. Wiggles uh, doing his rubber man routine uh, on stage was one of the first shows I saw. And when I saw that, along with David, David elsewhere, my, my thought was like, wow, this is this is un unreal. This is not human. Like, how is this possible? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you go through a similar process? Like, did you feel like, oh, wow, this is amazing. Like, how how did they do this? Yeah, me too. Like, on the moving, like, they, they, they moving like that. I feel like, wow, how the body can moving like that. And and I'm, I'm really, like, like, wondering, like, how they can inspire and how they can create that move to like become like dance move so i'm really like question mark a lot and then like i try to watch watching a lot of og and on the the stuff they did is maybe the technique is same but the flavor when they, they then they did is like i feel really total like really different and they show like their personality with that move yeah yeah, I watched in another interview uh, with you and the capsule. Shout out to the capsule. Uh, you mentioned that you were dancing for eighteen years around uh, in the interview, interview, right? So even before popping, so was dance always a part of your life? That how like I'm not really sure because I I told you like I don't know the name of the dance style, so I just love to see people like they dance, and I already feel like I like it. Yeah, like in in school, like they they have like our like study. They will have some like out outdoor like lesson like they have like basketball like swimming and dancing. I always choice dancing. <laughs> yeah. So you saying schools in Vietnam has dancing as an option? Yeah, before yeah, and until now, so like some school they have to. Oh, okay, and then so the dance options that they had was it just a general set of movements or could you classify it to any style was it like a, a Vietnamese type of dance or no they, they just like that class is just for for fun and make the the, the student is just like relax yeah sometimes okay so it's um some type of choreography that like kind of just is easy to get into and yeah. it's just really for exercise yeah who are some of your of your inspirations for me like when I start dancing I only like watching YouTube and like some movie for me like everyone like give me inspiration everyone because like for my view i feel like maybe from you from like your friend you will give me another point your friend will give me another point so actually like how i am now is like i from i learn from everyone and from bad side or good side, even that like really inspired to me to become like who I am now. Yeah, if say like the name is is difficult to me because I love to learn from everyone. Yeah. Okay, uh, I I hear you in that, and I think the the core of what you're saying is you try to stay open and just yeah. stay uh, observant of everything around you rather than just focusing on a few people. Yeah, because like if you forgot to like only few people, mm -hmm. I feel it's like sometimes you be you not like yourself, like you be like the shadow. Sometimes like because you stuck with that mind. If like you can see like different opinion, I think it's like I'm more open and I can feel like I have so many choice to like to to get the good point for me. Yeah, how do you stay inspired? How do you stay motivated? Mm, I have the mindset is like I always thinking like different way to that one point. Like if you you we we talk about like one one thing, I always thinking like so many different way to to get the right answer for me, not like maybe like for other people. Yeah, and then also like I try to think that is like open for it. I don't like get stuck I don't want to get stuck like one only one side in that question and then like I try to find a way like how I feel it if I'm that position and then like if I change how is it so sometimes like yeah I really open to for like inspiration yeah mm -hmm. so I hear you on you try to stay open and um, 
get inspiration from everybody, right? But what about some of the the teachers that you learn from? Who who are those people? If the um, the one I feel is like close to me for learn, is some the name is like Akisan from Japan. Oh, really? You got to learn from Akisan? Yeah. Yeah. Close with him, and then yeah, he shared to me like a lot of story, even like best way or good way. I learned a lot, and. Another is like Junior Bugalu. Yeah, he teach me a lot. Actually, it's funny. Is all of them is they didn't talk to me much about like dance. They share to me a lot about like their life with the dance. So I didn't ask he, them like about the technique or something like. I always like talking with them like about life, about like how is. How they go, keep going with the dancing, so that is for me. Is that really inspire me a lot? Yeah, yeah. I think Russia and Future and my crew. Yeah, tell me more, more about your crew. Who's what's the crew name and who's in it? Ah, uh, my crew in Vietnam is like X Cloud. We first is two thousand nine. Two thousand nine is like we together and. My leader is like name is Dodo, and then like he he bring everybody like first generation in the crew, and my crew is not only popping. My crew is like like all style. We have like b boy, we have like hip hop, house dancing and crum. So that's why like when I start with my crew, I'm not only practice popping, and it's good change to me like try another dance style. So for me now, I'm really like quick adapt to learn another dance style. Yeah. Yeah, it actually it, that shows uh, in some of the videos that I've, I've seen you where you had certain grooves from, from other styles but incorporated into your rounds, right? So, yeah, it definitely uh, makes sense on how how you got there, right? Yeah, um, yeah, amazing that Aki and Junior Bulu are some of your teachers. I first became aware of Aki in the mid middle two thousands because I think he came over to to L A uh, for one event. I forgot what event it was, but he came to L A and smoked everybody, right? Yeah, yeah, and I was like, that's crazy because you know, popping in L A is a very strong culture. Yeah, so to to win in L A is a big deal. Yeah, you know, especially back then, right? Yeah, talk about how, like how popping has changed you as a person over the years, because you know, like I think different cultures and different styles have their own uh, vibe and have their own mindset, right? Like, um, you know, especially being from uh, Vietnam, which is very different from American American culture. T tell me how popping has changed you as a person over the years. Um. Actually, like popping and dance, it saved me a lot, like about my emotion, and also like my my mindset, and about like everything around me, because like when I saw and I learned popping, I saw like popping is really like from LA. Is, I think is the most is they they came from like gangster, so the way they 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 dance is really strong. And really like show showing up like the confident, the confident. But like when I learn popping, I I can see like popping is is more than that. Because I sometimes like I feel beside the battle, beside the like event or something. When I get along, like popping is is the one help me to to take care of myself. To take care of like my emotional, like I'm sharing, but the way I move, the way I then it, I feel like I can take that feeling out with the popping, but I didn't like do like like in the battle like pop hard and like do like crazy thing, but popping is something like can soft, can show the deep thing, can show the the emotional, and also like can help. Me like take my imagination and also like my feeling with the music like more more connect. Yeah. Did you ever uh, consider yourself a creative person? Because one of the th themes I hear from you is the importance of creativity, right, yeah. and emotional well being. So, uh, did, would you feel like popping has given shape to your creativity? I think is popping is the for me is is the dance style is like show a lot of creativity because like on the the basic step I I learned from the 
on the OG. They always get that inspired from around, like puppet, from robot, from plex, like like slide or moonwalk. I I saw is they all get that inspiration from around, and everything is really close to you, from the movie, from the the thing you can like you can see on a tree, and then you can make it become like the dance move, the dance style. And so that's why for me, like, every dance move from popping is like they show something, like the story and all the, the character, yeah, from the dance move, yeah. Yeah, so how, how do you approach uh, creativity within the dance? Like, how, how do you, like, walk me through how you would take an idea and then practice it to develop it? And finally, how do you come to a point where you execute it? Mm, from from beginning, yeah. like I I not really understand about like the whole thing from popping, so I just only watching like tutorial, and that time like my English is like really poor, and I don't know what what they saying, so I just like see the move, how they move, and then I try to remember like how they move and also like the feeling how they. They do like that, and then like I try to remember, and I repeat, 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 repeat many times, because like that time like I need to go like the BC room to to play, and also like watching the video, so I don't have much time, so I spend the time to sit, and then I repeat only one video, like maybe like more than thirty times for like one part, and then like I remember when I back home, I just. Try to remember, and then I try to do the same thing. What I'm in my mind, and then do the same thing, and I try to copy like every move, and then like I feel that thing is help me to learn like how I can learn the moves like quickly later, and also like I don't know like what is meaning, so I need to create like the meaning by myself. So maybe that's more they they say it's like A to B. But I don't know. Understand is A to B, so I can create. I I need to create like my mind is like I bring that ball from that side to that side. So I I chain to make the feeling is right for me because the original I don't understand. I just see the move. So I need to create the feeling. I need to create the the meaning for myself. Yeah, and then like it's slowly day by day it become like my hobby. And I use with everything. Like my my crew training me like beside popping time. They training like house hip hop, and then I use that same thing. Same. It's like they they teach me lap bows. I don't know like the the feeling is come from where. I don't know exactly, but I try to like feel myself, and then I feel which part is like help me a lot when I'm moving like that. And I forgot with that, and then sometimes like I looking another park like why that park no feeling, and then I try to figure it out like I wanna use <coughs> the same technique and the same feeling with that park, and then like I always like have the question with some move I learn the new move I learn, I always like try and then I try to feel like it come from where, from the body. And then the energy come from where, and like the meaning is what, but I don't understand, right? So I I have to create something, for make my body and my brain is like I can feel it and I can understand about that. Yeah, that's that's really cool. So you, in some ways, were forced to be creative <laughs> because you couldn't understand the language, and so. Um, You're left with no choice other than to fill in the gaps of what you didn't know. Yeah. So that that kind of spurred your creativity. Yeah. <laughs> so let's, tell me about like you, you obviously speak English now, and um, from what I can tell, your English is very good, right? So now that you understand the language, did you ever try to go back to some of those moves and match, see how your feeling either matches or or differs from what they're actually communicating now? Absolutely yes. Because like even like I don't know English, and then after that like I have a crew, and my crew like I have some member like they know English, and then sometime like beside the practice time, 
I have some friends like I I always ask them to like together like come to their house because they have computer and sit down and I ask them like please like help me to translate what they mean like the I watching again for like and then like they translate to me and then I I I listen and then oh I can get it I understand and the original thing and my thing I don't follow only this anymore. Because like from beginning, I already create this thing, and now I understand. So I try to mixing, but before I mixing, I try to practice again from the original. So how I feel from now, from because now I I already understand. But the the thing is, I feel like yeah, when when I understand from the original, I can do that step is more more good, and also like. I can open more view from that that moment. That's why, like, after that, like, I try to repeat again everything I learned before, and then like I write out, and then like because when I write out and I I I see, I can think and I, I can then feel like a lot of thing, and then I write and then I try again, 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 and I I can get my old feeling from both sides. Yeah. What were some of the first moves or first styles that you you went through this process of seeing the movement and practicing or filling in what you think it might be or what you're creating, and then coming back later to um, combine it together? Like, what are some of those movements? Was it like a tutting combination? Was it waving? Was it um, like hitting or popping? Was it the the, the Fresno or the old man? Yeah, uh, like, like I say, like the first person inspired me is. David elsewhere, right? So I really love wave that time, and the f- the first thing is I learned with waving, and I watching a lot of like waving stuff, because at that time like you you know like you watching the YouTube, you watching the video, they will recommend you another video. So I saw so many video that time, and then like I watching like slick dog also, and also like another waver like, uh, his name is John Do. John Doe, okay. Yeah, it's really long time ago. And then like Jay Smooth. Yeah, on the waiver that time and uh way omastic. Yeah, wave matic, yeah. Yeah, matic, yeah. I watching a lot of stuff about that and then I, I try to do the same thing like them. And then I, I try like I say, like I try to create like the way how I do that for the same movement like like them. And after I I know what is it and I know it's like oh they call it like EB style is like electric boogaloo. So the first style for me is learn is electric boogaloo also. Yeah. With the waving beside. Yeah. And then did you get to learn um, in person from any of the uh, electric boogaloos? I don't have a chance because like, I mean, Vietnam and that time Vietnam is really poor and not like, no, we don't have like good dancer come before. So that's why, like, it's really difficult for us because, like, our generation, our first generation in Vietnam, all of them is learned from, like, internet or, like, the, the tab from the movie or maybe, like, have some some OG, like, first generation in Vietnam, like, in the north side, they have, like, a chain to go to China for, like, study and then, like, they can see, like, the, the popping scene there so they learn from there also. And when they back to Vietnam, they share to everyone. Yeah. So uh, how many generations of dancers, of, of American street dancers are there in Vietnam and what, what generation are you? I think if I'm not wrong and I'm talking with like some OG in Vietnam, I think is then street then came to Vietnam is around it's 86 or 87. Oh, but, really? That, that long ago? 86, yeah. 87? But they told me exactly from 90. From 90, yeah. Yeah, that's that's amazing. Like, I, I, can't ima- I can't imagine who, who that was or how it got there in that time because I, I was born in 85, so to think that street dance came to Vietnam around the time that I was born is yeah. it's, it's hard to imagine. <laughs> it's right too, right? I'm, I'm, I'm really like, oh... It's already a like long time from that, but it's from the north side, from the like they they came from Hanoi first, because like I hear the story is like before already have the big toe, but before that they have another crew 
also but the big toe is the the biggest one the first crew in vietnam also that time they have another crew is like they say seal crew but big toe is more like like breaking breaking crew and that time is like i hear the story is like storm og storm from germany we have like a chain culture from germany and vietnam in hanoi and they they they, they came there for doing like the show and then when when they go there and then they saw like big toe crew practice and they saw like oh they have dancing here and then they they battle <laughs> oh really they battle <laughs> but like in vietnam that time like they don't know like what is it they just try to do like so many like crazy move but it's not the right technique so storm share everyone is what is the right way like top rock footwork and the power move what is the name and he share like knowledge and also like he share about popping also too like some guy that time so you say storm was in vietnam in the 90s or is it early I, 2000s I, I, I'm, i'm not I'm, i'm not sure but yeah from the beginning like he, he came and he, sh- he shared wow that's that's amazing uh i want i wonder what his experience was like because you know that That wasn't too, too long after the war, right? Yeah. And to be a foreigner in Vietnam after the war must yeah. have been an interesting experience itself. Um, it, it makes sense though, and I'm glad you explained that the North had access first because they probably went to China, right? Yeah. And I'm, I'm sure dancers went to China first yeah. before they went to Vietnam. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, like, how many generations w- are there of dancers, and what generation are you? It's hard to tell, but I think. Around four or five. Yeah, I think yeah. So, so would you be the fourth or fifth generation? Yeah. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Uh, wow. That that's 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 like way more developed than uh, or way more not developed. That's the wrong word. Way more, way more layered than I thought it was. You know, I thought you might have been like the the second or third generation, but like oh, that, yeah. that's a lot of generations already, especially yeah. since the ninety. Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay. So. Earlier, you mentioned that you know Vietnam is obviously a very different place, and depending on the time period, it was very poor. Did you, did you have a lot of uh, resistance from your family or community as far as like why you're dancing and not, not doing another job to make money? Uh, actually, like I want to study more. Actually, that time is like mm, when I'm from uh, high school, and before I finish high school, I need to like sign up for choice the college or university, and. That time is really hard for me. Is like my family is really poor, and they cannot take care of the the payment, the fee for the school anymore. So I I I have to stop. And then like when I sign the the paper, I I look at like my 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 schoolmate, like my my schoolmate. Everybody like talking about like which school, which school new choice. I feel really really sad because like I cannot go more so that time i already danced so i had to stop and then i choice is okay i for forget like dance so for me like when i decide like that is like for me it's like i have no way back anymore so i have to go ahead and i didn't show my parent no like i'm dancing because like they want me forget like study And I have a funny like one is before like when I'm high school, I love before high school, I love dancing, but they they didn't. I I I want like go to like the class, take the class for learning how to dance. And my mom told me is like, if you get the good point at school, I can go to take the dance class. And I try to yeah study and i study well and then like uh, yeah she she take me go to the dance class and the first day the teacher teach me like do the waving <laughs> yeah he, he teach me like do the waving and i feel oh this is the, the one i i love and i learn so fast and he he surprised like, i learned so fast and i already told him like i already watching youtube a lot and then next day he teach me about backslide backslide and then like next day is like 
you, you know what he teach me? What he teach you? Backflip. <laughs> Backflip? <laughs> On the third day? <laughs> yes. I feel like, no way. <laughs> But I have to practice because it's that class. So I need to follow the teacher. <laughs> and then like, and then I feel like every class is really like r- random, random thing. And then next day, like we we come like really early with like another guy. He didn't come. And then next day, around few day, he didn't come also. And then next after that, like we we came again. We come, we came again. And then the the security come came is like ask us like why you guys here like on the time. I say like we take the then class here, so we waiting the teacher come, because like we didn't. Before is the class still open, so we we go in and we practice by ourselves. But later is the class is not open, so we waiting. So he he came to us, and the security says he already gone, so he take on the money from us, and leave. And after that, like my mom don't want me go dance anymore. And then like okay, I romance her like I I don't want her be sad, so I romance her like I don't go. Dance class anymore. I don't talk about that anymore, but I'm still like like weekend because like my neighborhood is like like my uncle, my auntie, like they working like selling some stuff, you know, like in Vietnam, like twist food, right? So I I wake up early like weekend. I wake up early to help them like bring stuff and try to help them, and then I get some money, and then I get that money to go right the BC room to watching the dance. And tutorial, and I learn by myself. And in the room, I try to finish homework first, and then I practice. My mom come back, and I I back to normal. Like <laughs> I have no dancing anymore. <laughs> like I I I don't want to show her. <laughs> like really long, like many years. Yeah. So when you were like, "Hey, I can't sign this form and go to school," and uh, I'm sorry you went through that. It seems like a very difficult time. Uh, I can't sign this form. I can't go to school. Let me pursue dance because I have no other choice, right? Yeah. Do, do, do you think of pursuing dance as no other choice, as like just because you love it, or you want you you believe that you can make money for it and survive of it? Like what? Like why? Why did you pursue dance? Did you know that you can make a, a life out of it? I know that time is I. I just have one feeling is I. I love dance also, but before I planning is like I'm still study, and then I dance together like same time, but that time like I cannot go school anymore, so I have to yeah only one is dance, and that time is really upset for me, but then it saved me that time because like make me forget about it, forget about that that thing, and I I fall in love with. Dancing and on the time is like I finish school and on way like dancing, dancing, dancing like on the time like go like up ap- after like school I go like another place to practice with like the neighborhood they they go like I saw like that time is hip hop is really famous in Vietnam and on the kid is like they playing like like breaking move and they really funny is like. That neighborhood and another be- neighborhood, right? We go to another neighborhood for battle also, but really like crazy, like funny, like they have coca and some guys older they smoking, they do the air chair, and they smoking and the battle is like who can be like longer and finish the smoke, <laughs> <laughs> and some moment is like like that and then they drink the the. The cook <laughs> and who is the first finish? So I feel it's like oh, it's cool, <laughs> it's funny. You know that that puts a whole new meaning to you got smoked. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> and that that time I just go to to watch because I don't know how to dance. I don't know how to do like them. Yeah, yeah. What what neighborhood or what part of Vietnam was this? Uh, um, that time is I I I came to my my grandma. It from district ten. In but I'm 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 born I'm born in I'm born from Chà Lam, yeah, District Five. So so there's probably a lot of listeners who don't know where that is. So like, what's what's the nearest major city? Was it near Hanoi? Was it near Saigon? Where? In, in Saigon, yeah. Okay, in Saigon, yeah, yeah. Wow, uh, 
that's that's amazing. So, th- so there was already other people that you could go to or a community that you could go to and see these things happen, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Um, th- so, at which point did you finally? One, um, your mom saw you dance, right? Uh, I'm, I'm sure you can't hide it now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and and two, um, when did you come out into the scene? You know, versus just like practicing and maybe practicing in secret on your own. Yeah. Like, what? When did you finally? You know what? I'm gonna go to this event in Vietnam and do your thing. And and yeah. So like, tell me about that. Yeah. Uh, I I practiced like 2009. I I joined a crew, and then like we practiced like every night and then like we join competition and then we after like few years after few years like we join competition and then we win and also like i have some small event i win also and also like in vietnam we have like performance so we go to performance to get money and then like one time like i back home and i give my mom like the first winning the first winning and the, the money I give her all, and she surprised where it come from and what is it. And I told her it's like it's for my practice, for my dance, and what I get. And she really surprised because like she already have the question because like I before like I love to play video game, and I'm not really forgot about like study because for for me study that time is like it's boring. I just forgot. The, the one I like, like drawing, I like some another option from school. Another I don't like, so I don't fo- focus. But after that, like she can recognize, oh, why that kid like study like back home, studies like so, so fast and quick. And I don't play with the neighborhood like too much like before. I always spend time at home. And... Uh, she she saw me like take care of myself really well, because like in the crew we have so many rules for rowing fast, so that's why like I have to follow and then I take care a lot of myself like that time. What are some of those rules? Uh, actually like my my leader wanna show like people around see treat them is not bad, so in the in the in the crew we cannot show the, the finger the middle finger we cannot say bad work and we need to practice we we need to go to the the studio with like on time we need to like like be clear and don't try to show them like something like like bad bad thing because like he want to show his dance is really amazing and should and also like the parent they don't want the kid is study so that's why like he want us is like be the good thing for they can see like the good view from the dance so that's why like all of us really serious and really like follow that thing and after that like I feel that thing really help us a lot and give us so many opportunity because like some sometimes like some play is like they don't allow dance but after they they know us they really like us and they give us a chance to go and then share the dance and also like play so many good things. Like some stadium before they, they don't allow like dancer come there for them because they only really like graffiti, do some like bad work, bad thing. But like after a few years, we the first crew go again that place and that place accept us to go to practice because like after we practice we clean everything is like normal again we don't like the track or around anymore so we try to keep the play we practice is good so they still give us a chance to practice there yeah yeah that's amazing it sounds like um you guys have really good mindset and etiquette right so that's the key thing i'm hearing from it is to change people's perception of you based on the actions that you do or how do you show up to an, an event. Yeah, true. And I think is we we are the, the first crew in Vietnam, like we are really famous about in the street and community in Vietnam. They know our crew is we don't smoke. And 
we not really like drinking a lot. We only like dancing, practice together. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's cool, man. That, that's that's really amazing. I'm I'm uh I'm happy to hear that there was intention behind yeah. behind those movements. So okay, uh, back to you winning the that first event and then giving your mom money. All right, so uh, continue with that part. Yeah. Uh, after that, I like, see see Brian and see see I really like I'm done. So I don't know. I don't need to hacking anymore. So I just told her like I go to practice, and she she didn't ask me anything. I I can feel is uh she know because like I cannot go to school because like some part from family also so she cannot take care. But that's why I like, see feel bad. But like I try to dance and get like more job like from performance or like from teaching and I get like small money. But I can take care of myself, and also like I can give her some money for help, for, like family stuff with her. So that's why I like, she never ask me something, like why you don't go work or something, because she she saw I'm good, and I'm not go bad way, or I'm not like do bad thing, and I really like just only dance, dance, and then like I take care of myself really good. And she didn't ask me to do like job or something like normal job or like something. Yeah. How how does your mom feel about you now that you're traveling the world for dance? She proud. Yeah. She really proud and I know like she on way brave for me and on on way like when I back home she on way like cooking good food for me like my favorite food for me on a time like if if she she saw me at home. And yeah, I know like now she she know who I am now, and I travel a lot. And she just always ask me like, try to eat well, rest well, and take care of yourself. And she don't say anything much, but I know like she always like support me. Yeah, and on the thing I I I did now is like it's for her. Yeah. Well, that's amazing. Beautiful, beautifully said. Has your mom so you, has your mom seen you dance? Yeah. Considering that your style is probably not what she's used to, well, what's her opinion or what, what's her feeling of you dancing? Like seeing you dance. I never asked about that, but like sometimes, like I enjoy like TV show. She always like my side. She always say, "No, the judge is wrong. The judge is uh, <laughs> they don't know how to judge." Blah blah blah. blah. I, I feel really funny and I feel really happy when she enjoy about that but she never judge me about like my dance he, she, she never say anything she and on, even like she selling drink on a street and now it's beside beside that they have like a kind of like opera and they have some like sometimes an event and also like have dancer there and they they came to my my mom play to buy drink yeah. My mom didn't show. Oh, I'm a empty pop mom. She never show. She always like low key and keep like it's my son. Yeah, she never show it now. Like I'm proud. It's proud. It's my son. It's my son. She never show up like that. Even like she know like another parent. They have the kid and they they always say, oh, my kid he dance really well and blah blah blah. But she always keep quiet. And she always like inside. Oh, I hope my son is good. <laughs> and I feel like sometimes I learn that humble from my mom. Yeah. Yeah, that's a very important uh, quality and a thing to have. And it can be for some people, it can be painful to learn. Yeah. 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 So tell me about um uh, like the different mindsets that you carry. You know, the mindset of uh performing under pressure. The mindset of like you know. Being a Vietnamese person learning in American dance, so just tell me about the different mindsets that you carry with inside. Um, I think it's from American. Everything it came from like the gang, the gangster. But actually now is that is no more. That is no more, and I feel is under round and treat then is already like go to the the next floor, the next level, and I think is treat then can be more than that. Because I feel it's like when I join the treat and communities, I feel I can be myself. 
I can learn how to be like confident. I learn a lot like how to take care of myself, take care of family, take care of people around me, and even like the community. Because like in in Vietnam, like my crew, like before every Christmas, we do like performance like tree show, and I learn from uh, like the tree and also like Harry Berry. He he did the performance with the, the silver, and another guy like gold and silver like performance on, on the trees, and me and my leader to play in like yeah we need to go like treat performance like that, and we bending like the whole thing and we buy the vest to make like the same thing and we go to the trees to performance, like I need to hold that like many hours, and then like so time we dance. That's why like now the my stuff is really well <laughs> from the the treat performance, and we use on that money from the treat performance, we buy like food for homeless people, and on also like sometimes like like we go to like some some place is like the kid we don't have they they don't have the parent, so we go there to like sharing dancing to them for they they can enjoy. They they know how to having fun, and even now like my crewmate like Sung Lam, ah uh, Sung Lam and with Ma Studio, he now he he keep doing that thing, like he go to like some play like the the, the kid they don't have parent, we go there for like teaching teaching them like dancing and having fun, so that thing is, for me is like. I know it's treat dance is a lot of bad thing like drug, like like fire something like that. But now I believe it that's it no more. And also like the first generation in treat dance like on the OG now. I know like some some guy from the, the gangster. But the way they they share to everyone now is not the gang side. It's about like the human and the. Uh, Like the trend form, so I forgot about that thing more, and I keep that to sharing to next generation again, and then I don't want to. Of course, like we need to show them like where it come from, but we don't need to be be same like that, because like I. I don't want to be be like that, because like I'm not like that, and I just be myself, and I just only forgot the the good thing and the real thing, and the amazing thing I learned from treat then. And I wanna keep that, and sharing to the next generation again and again. And I I believe in the future, everybody will see the treat then is like more modern now more than before. Maybe in the future is more amazing. And every I I have a wish like on the treat then dancer, they can live with the dancing because like I sometimes I feel like everything we need. Dance, and then is the one make people enjoy. Also, we have singing right on the art form, like bending, singing, dancing. They can make people happy, but why the art form on way cannot live in, cannot like live in with that art, and on way like cheap. Yeah, that's a very interesting point you brought up, um, because. Obviously, I'm biased, right? Uh, but it's my personal opinion that dance is the hardest physical art form, mm-hmm. by far, uh, because it's a, it's an art form that's always evolving. Like you can study your whole life, and still, there's always more that you don't know than yeah. you than you do know, yeah. right? Um, but it's sad how difficult the art form is, while being not as respected as the other art forms. Yeah, you know. Uh, yeah. So I do hope and wish that one day that would change too. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so keep on doing what you're doing. Uh, what what about things like? Because you know, in American culture, there's a bigger focus on individuality, like being yourself, right? Whereas in some East Asian cultures, especially in Vietnam, there's a focus on what's called collectivism, right? So basically, being of community and not being individual, right? So be, meaning family oriented or community oriented versus being an individual. Did you? Um, like, did you struggle coming from that mindset into this mindset where it's more in the, more of an individual? For me, no, because like I'm living in Vietnam, 
and I just travel and I learn, I learn from that. I can app, like I can apply to myself, but with another way can make sense with my my place, my culture, because I cannot. I all oh, like I go that place, and I inspire that, and I think it's really good, and then I I use that in Vietnam. It's not make sense. Maybe make sense here, but in Vietnam maybe not, because we cannot like use that thing same in Vietnam because it's different, really different. The lifestyle is different. So I just learn and I, I try to switch, how to become like make sense in here, but different way, but same point. Yeah. So very good points. What are some ways that you think it makes more sense in Vietnam, or the different ways that it makes sense in Vietnam? Mm, I think it's like in my city, Saigon, people really like open. It's like you know, like in Saigon, it's like the commercial and uh, everything is really like a lot, like Tokyo, like Shanghai, like LA, like commercial city. So that's why like they need a lot of different thing, and everything is come come there. So that's why like. They affect the people a lot, so in the trade and community, they they really open about like the style. They not really like do like only like one original thing. I feel because like I learned that thing. I I saw that thing is from when I go to Japan, like Osaka and Tokyo is really different. Yeah, I feel Osaka is really traditional, but Tokyo is really like. Open like everything is like crazy sometimes, like in in China also, and even like I go U.S. Every city is really different. They have the flavor, so it makes sense. Like in Vietnam, it's same. Like in Hanoi, people really traditional about like something when they they start, but in Vietnam, like really, kind of like new, kind of like old, but they make like the new way or maybe they try to like make different. I think it's. Yeah, because the effect from the culture. Yeah, I, when I went to Vietnam last year, my observation matches what you're describing. Not just in a dance part, but just an overall community. Yeah, and you know, uh, my theory is the the South is more Americanized, right? While the North is um, closer to the communist roots. So maybe that distinction is why one place might be more traditional. And the the other place might be more open or more uh, diverse in that that sense. Yeah, but like also I learned one thing is about the weather also. In Hanoi, like they have four season, really clear. That's why like I feel the so many amazing attic is in Hanoi, because like the weather effect them um, make the art form is really amazing. Like. Many different color. Like you see, like so many red, like artistic from Europe, right? And also like US also have a lot. That's why like the the weather can 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 make them have a lot of feeling to create something from the art. Yeah, you know that's an interesting part that you brought up because I used to be from San Diego. Yeah, and I lived there for twenty years. San Diego is kind of like South Vietnam weather-wise, mm. not as humid because Vietnam is very tropical, right? But San Diego, like year-round, it's usually seventy to eighty degrees year-round, right? Uh, but San Francisco and LA, but definitely San Francisco can be pretty much well understood that it's like one of the art capitals of, of California, and the weather weather in San Francisco is like way different. There's definitely seasons here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. So uh, I, I see your point there. Um, is there a big difference in the the dance culture within the north or south? Like you know, do is there is there a rivalry or is there collaboration? In you mean like in in the north or south Vietnam in in the dance community? Um, I you know you know considering that like um everything happened with the war and everything too right and so is is that does that difference um get expressed in the dance community? You you mean like make a symbol like how like. Like, like for example, um, is there any tension or conflict between the North dance community and the South dance community? Actually, like we we still brow each other, like like Vietnam dancer. But sometimes, like I th- I think is we have the good thing is like we still like 
looking at other each other and then like we try to push and now like in in Hanoi really good is like they try they they try to teaching kid now and they did really well and I saw like a lot of kid like generation now is really well so I feel like oh really good and I think it in Saigon now need to learn about that and now Saigon like slowly to to do the same thing because like everything is like from the den i say from the den is always came from hanoi first like from beginning already came from hanoi and ho chi minh is the the next one so now it's like we try to learn and because like in in ho the like saigon is really difficult to the parent is not easy to give the kid is learn dancing you know like the the city like the city is really busy yeah when i went to vietnam last year the only time that i saw i mean obviously i wasn't there like for a long time and i don't live there so i could be very yeah. small <laughs> observation yeah but the only time i saw vietnamese people, vietnamese people enjoying themselves and having fun was in hanoi in the old quarters yeah right because they're, they're actually at the at the the, the park by, by the by the lake right and there were uh, there's um on, on on the weekends there have you been there on the weekends yeah okay so on the weekends they have the the night market uh in the old, Hanoi old quarters and i saw everyone come out and having fun and then people were, were singing and like playing and dancing in, in the streets and that, that was the only place i saw that yeah, yeah but in um, other places everyone's just busy working hard you know yeah i think it's like it's not only weekend you can sing it's every day okay. <laughs> it's every day that thing is like i feel like Wow, sometimes like too much having fun. <laughs> sometimes like, too much having fun, and not only that that thing. You actually like you can see like you can go to Saigon. I think you can see like every night they drinking. They like they they own way like like chill and own way like coffee. And you can see like a lot of people go out. But like it's, you see like like holiday in like another country. They spend time at home, or maybe cooking, and everybody go to some home, right? But actually, like holiday in Vietnam, like everybody go out. Expect me, <laughs> I don't want to go out <laughs> because too many people, and that thing is like really in, for the foreigner is really inter interesting because like they can see like people really like go out and hang out and like play around in the in the tree. They do like singing, if like random singing. They just like some guy. They they bring the speaker and the micro, and they ask people come to to sing together. Yeah, in the in Hanoi, I got my I got my uh, my my portrait drawn by this guy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. True, true. <laughs> I know about that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, that's that's cool. So, like, how do you approach your practice? Because you know, there's so many things to learn about dance. Like. How do you say, hey, today or this month or this year, I'm going to focus on this thing? And how do you go from practicing that one thing and then bring it back to your dance? <clears throat> I think it's like de depend uh, the moment. So from beginning, I I have nothing. I don't know anything. So when I know something, I need to plan. Like today, what what we need practice? Because like we we still have a lot of things need to to learn and need to practice it about that so maybe one week i focus only like one style like one technique but later like everything i already like get it like for my side i need to change like more about like flavor more about like feeling so before like i did the technique really good but my feeling is like nothing i just do like really simple but not really well. But after that, like, oh, I need to learn how I feel with my feeling with the, the technique. So that moment I need to change. And now it's like, I cannot do that anymore. Like, I need to listen my feeling more than before. Because like, uh, I cannot plan like, from now I cannot plan, oh, today I need to practice like waving. Today I need to practice like popping. I cannot do that. Because like, I... I want to listen my feeling more. Like today, I don't know what I'm practice, but the first thing is I need to open the music, and I open the music, and I feel it makes sense with my vibe now, or not. If not, I change. 
I change, I change, I change until I find something. I feel, oh, this divine now I, I want. And then I open that thing and I, I dance with that. And now I don't say practice. I just say I, I dance. Because like I already passed the, the time I practicing. Because that, that time is like I love dancing and I need, I need to learn something for. I have some, some stuff to do. And then I learn how to understand my my feeling and what I want. I already passed. And now it's like I need to make it like more myself, like growing up. Because that thing is already, is the stop to help me, to bring me, go to another place. So that's why I say like depend the time. You will focus something and the plan will be changed. Yeah. So now like, like I, I need travel a lot and I don't have much time to practice like before like I'm in school and I have no responsibility so it's just study and practice so that's why I can spend like six hours or eight hours a day and practice but now cannot so sometimes like I travel I don't have much time so when when I go to airplane airplane I, the, the flight is like really long so sometimes like watching movie and then like sleep, right? So sometimes I cannot sleep. I wear the headphone and then I stand up. I go to the cabin and then I'm moving. <laughs> I, I I don't care like they, they saw or something, but I want to dance. I don't want to sit like that. And then I'm moving and even like I have some habit like when I hang out with my friend, we're talking or like we, we're waiting for sometimes. I always playing. Yeah, you know, I, um, just now you said something funny that that, that reminded me of my, my time in Vietnam. Yeah. Uh, when I was there, I was flying from Ho Chi Minh to Hanoi, right? Uh, I think on Vietnam Airlines. And the commercial for the airplane safety, the, the commercial by the airline was the most outrageous video I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Like they they were out in the in the in the in the middle of the lake doing like tutting and all this stuff for putting on a seatbelt. I was like, who, what the? <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know that. You, you know that video? Yeah, I know that video. <laughs> yeah, yeah, when I saw it, I was like, like I was I was shocked and I was like, like I I was very impressed that it was to that level, right? But it was like super advanced. Like they're out in the middle of the lake, the thing, and then doing the whole dance chair thing, and next thing you know, doing finger tape tutting. I was like, dude, this is for it. putting a seatbelt. Like what? The? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I I know that video. Yeah, really funny. Do, do, do you know who choreographed that video? Was it, was uh, it you? <laughs> yeah, I I know some guys. Okay, uh, yeah. So uh, you, so like that brings up my, my next point. Like, um, how do you maintain your body, your mind, especially now that your time is changing? From you know, uh, so obviously you, you can only do so much on the airplane, right? Like, uh, how do you maintain your body, your mind, and even your skills now that you're traveling a lot? Because that's that's one one of the biggest um, time things of traveling is just the, the travel itself. Yeah, uh, like now. I need to travel a lot and I don't have much time for practice by myself. So sometimes like, I spend time to feeling and time to practice. Sometimes it, I think everybody did, do the same thing. Maybe when you shower, <laughs> you listen to music and you're moving. And then sometimes like, like after the whole day at back room, depend my mood. So sometimes like kind of like where, but I feel it's like it make me understand my my feeling more. Sometimes I back home and then I, I don't open the light. I just like small light, and I open music. Sometimes it's like soft music. Sometimes it's like dark music, and then I play with like my emo emotion, and also I play with some character. So sometimes I feel like I'm look back. Oh wow, I'm so weird. But that thing helped me to understand like how I can do the character well because I need to feel it. So that's why sometimes like I forget myself. I I fall in love with that thing and then like I play with that. And sometimes like I'm not only like popping, sometimes the like, morning I wake up, I open like some sad song. <laughs> or sometimes like, I open like really like half song. So it I I try to listen how I feel today. So it's the, like design me like whole day. And also, like, the practice play, like, sometimes, like, now is when I'm, when I'm teaching, I try to find a way to 
not make me like tired because I know some people now they need to teaching a lot and after the teaching they have no more energy so that's why I learned from that and I need to figure it out how I can do same thing but I don't feel tired and then I need to find a way I feel I need to find the, the joy when I'm teaching for make me like maybe body tired but my mental is like good so that's why like now I have the road check in Vietnam so I have like some like small group that practice really tired but after that the mental is really good so that's why I change my mind to do that way for same to my student also maybe the body is tired but the mental is like really good so for me teaching is not only you come and then you share them the move and something but teaching also need to creative teaching need to be like you understand yourself of course and then also you need to understand that the student and then also like I teaching a lot and I try to some case like maybe that person the way they learn is really slow that person the way they learn really fast and some somebody is like somebody's the body is not really quick to adapt something so that's why like, I always try so I boost my position is their people so sometimes I feel like my, my muscle is not well so my muscle is not good to learn quick so I need to find the, the way how I practice to to make the muscle quick so I try so many ways for so many people different and then I, I make the, the one for everyone can learn everyone can can get that and they can use by yourself they self yeah so I spend time a lot to to learn and to like explore my skill and explore my my feeling and also there's feeling also to to get something for we can connection we can share because like if I make it simple like if I go to another country is okay but if I go to US I talking about culture it not make sense because culture is already there so why they want to learn from me is because it's me it's my story it's my thing so that's why like the important thing is now I always like forgot like how I feel and how I think and how I adapt my personality with the culture and I, I can go the way how I go and I share to them because like I go from the zero and from nothing with the culture I, like, I have no idea with that thing but how I can become like that and like the, the, the local people like accept me so that's why like I need to have a question and I, I need to find a way like why I can become like that for I can share to the next generation to do the same thing or they can explore they self yeah yeah so if I'm, if I hear you right then earlier on in your dance journey you were practicing with the uh, or idea of uh, maybe a curriculum that you either made or are following and you just kind of execute it right and now over time it's transitioned into being more of a feeling base like what does this song make me feel and does it match to how I feel inside and leading with that right versus something that's written on a paper or something you you pre-planned right yeah um, so as far as teaching give me an outline of like how your class is usually broken down to is there like a warm-up period is there a routine is there drills or, or is there like a creative exercise what's, what's your class like the signature for my class is about creative and also like can be yourself and you can use my thing to use by yourself and you can create by yourself also so you don't need you don't need to be same like me so i give them like the thing they can work by themselves and also like i think it depends because workshop and class for me is different so the workshop i always give them like how i think how i feel for they can like have another view to try something and if in the class i need to have the road rage the road rage and for me like i try to do another way like my my warm-up is not like like that my warm-up is still by like isolation and how you understand the body first 
and then later I will forget about like some one thing and I will show them like how I build that thing from zero to infinity always like that and then I explain to them because like I don't want to talk too much I only talk after class and from beginning we just try try and sometimes like I don't want to like do the, the the same thing maybe like same idea but I try to do so many different ways and I, I find the joy is like I'm not choreography everything and I, I'm not repair everything I just freestyle maybe like I open music and the the workshop vibe give me something oh I can see something let's try together so it make me like I'm a student too so now I'm trying together and then I can find like, how I can do that and then I need, need to quick like how I can do that with them yeah yeah very interesting uh, would you be able to like maybe take one basic idea and um, showcase here how you expand it maybe something with your hands since you're sitting down yeah like, maybe with a stutter or something like like what what's like where's zero and like show me how, how you start elevating I make a symbol like um, I use the ideas like maybe uh, maybe that thing maybe that thing so I have only that thing so how we dance with that thing and how we use like we get the idea we get the inspired from that thing and also like we get like foundation with that thing for make like different and also like how we play I always like one day play with that thing not serious about we need to practice that thing like become like perfect no I want they play and enjoy that thing is more important for me so make it simple like I have the thing like make it like border and I look at border and I feel it's out, out look and the inlook is what the in, in, inside is liquid so the outlook is the form and the, li the liquid is the, the flavor the feeling so you need to try for it. so when you change here what is the feeling when you change it what is the feeling and then I use like maybe I create like you one idea is like circle so how many circle you can think in your mind maybe I can think three maybe you can think five so we can discuss and then we fight okay so now I look around so I see oh we have the lock so the lock is the circle also so how we play with the circle with something and then I run the big some basic step I make a symbol like flex or I make a symbol like rolling and I, I use that thing with the idea and how we can explore your body with that idea and then like with the basic I make a symbol like I we choose the basic step similar like the idea so it's circle right so I choose something like circle also like rolling so the rolling I, I wrote the, the original one and it's like that so now I, I cut I don't want to roll like that we cut roll maybe roll only one place or that place or that place or maybe you moving and the spiral like can change to the spiral it's same like circle and the storm because like if you focus like if you make the storm the storm feeling you make you like really quick and the body is moving like that so how is going when when we change and if like you try to do, do the lock the lock how is it going so when i roll i try to roll here and i i follow the lock so i keep rolling so you will give you some idea some feeling because like, i don't forget about like the outlook i try to focus the in look for it because the meaning will make the shape change so I make a symbol like I give you the box so I show you the box right it's the outlook but I say inside the box have something to moving so the box moving so you change some meaning or you change some feeling inside the outside will be changed so I don't forget about like how the step moving I forgot about how the feeling moving because when the move, the feeling moving they will make the shape it change like transfer like on the time 
so make me more play make me more like more deep because like if you you thinking ah oh, the step is here to here you see when you choreograph you you choreography like about move you take so long time because you think like outside but you didn't know like why why need to be like that but I want to go inside out first so when I I'm, I want to moving like that so I just moving like that first and then I see oh the shape is like that and then like I take care okay now I only ro- the left hand or the left hand I try like that so I keep moving the right hand and then I keep I try to do something and I can like collaboration and I can see something is more open for me yeah wow that's a it's amazing thank you for for that explanation so it's like the process of engaging someone's mind but also understanding what's inside what you're doing versus just focusing on the um, the external parts only yeah because like like I make more at a flex from beginning I already learned like the step so I don't know what it mean but when I know that the meaning I can do the flex is better so that's why like that time make me change okay I want to follow the meaning for and then later I create the, the outlook because like the flag is like we need to do the step so you see like if you focus focus about the step you always stuck with that basic step and you cannot go out but I forgot about flex so the flag is so many different flex and so many things around you can flex also so that's why I like uh, same thing but help you more open so I don't need to flex like oh I need to be like that I can flex another way. Yeah, that's very interesting. It reminds me of language and what I've observed from some of um, the other dancers I've I've seen. And so, if we're talking about language, then it's not the amount of words you know, but does your sentence carry any meaning? Yeah. Right. Versus just say throwing out a bunch of words um, on paper or in conversation, but the your words don't have don't have any meaning, right? And someone can say less. But even me more, even even with fewer words, right? Because they understand the meaning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. V- very cool. Um, how do you think like the American dance culture has impacted Vietnam from you know being something hard hard to reach? But now, uh, it it blew me away the other day when I saw that uh, Radical Force Jam was in Vietnam with Da Nang. That you got Mr. Wiggles, Capella, and I don't know who else was there, but yeah, like um. What is it like seeing the scene grow in Vietnam, and how do you think the scene has impacted Vietnam? I think is have some competition like that in Vietnam is really really grateful for Vietnamese like student community because like from now it's still really difficult for Vietnam dancer to go out, so that's why like when I saw some event like that, it's it's the good chain to to Vietnamese student is like. They can see the world. They can see the the top level of dancer around the world. They they came and they they dance. How they dance and how they energy with the dancing. Not not about like the winning or lose. It's about like they love the dance and wait. They they came and they show the love. And this thing is really good thing. And also like they can have a chance to learn from them because they have the camp, the workshop. So that's why like. I feel really good for Vietnamese community. Beside that, they have we have so many different events. So now we have many good opportunities, like bring good dancer come come to Vietnam for sharing. But I hope like I'm still trying to like travel around from now for learn knowledge from the way how is the world like growing with the trade dance with their culture so I try to bring back to Vietnam and now I try to slowly to try something new for like trade and Vietnam community especially like my people around me yeah but I really think it's, it's a good change because like in China in Japan they always have like big competition but the good thing is like many good dancers always came and the dancer they can see what is good, what is good quality, what is high level about dance, so they can make their standard more higher. 
because like maybe like I make simple like you can see the kid because that kid is like amazing because you see it's kid so when they moving it's cool but they understand the dance or not yeah so I want I hope I hope all people like can understand the standard is more high for they can make the communities more better you know what I mean it's not because I just not only want oh have many people join have many people join I, I don't want like that. I don't want to mess up. I just want like the people really love it first and then like can make it clear for people can see because it's same like education. Yeah. So we can do the right way for the next generation. We can more stronger and stay like longer. So I make a symbol like Japan. Like the treat then called come to Asia in Japan first and then until now Japan is the country can keep like treat and culture really long and still perfect and they did really well and also like they can boost their culture inside also so that's why like i hope in vietnam we can do the same way but we can boost like vietnamese culture inside yeah yeah one thing i've seen from other places with a lot of dance competitions is sometimes it makes people too competitive And it makes people even like, uh, like in some countries in Europe, like people stop going out to to club, to party, to dance with each other, and they go, "I'm going to go train, I'm going to practice, and I'm going to show up the battle." And it's it it becomes rather than dance culture, more of so battle culture, right? Yeah, yeah. Is is Vietnam at that stage where there's that change, or it's still relatively new where um, that hasn't happened yet? Yeah, I think it's everywhere the same thing because like. I believe like from our generation, we already only saw the battle. So that's why it's become like battle culture. And they only know one thing is they need to practice for showing up and try to win in competition. But me, I'm I'm lucky is I'm I'm the generation is between the old and the new to transform. So I'm in in the between. So that's why I, I can see the both side. So Now I try to show them like I try to make something like same like block block party some same like jam something like that. I try to bring them more like enjoy and having fun. So I plan to do something for slowly to make them like they can do like different way because like when we join the dance is not only battle. We have performance. We have teaching. We have like like. So many different kind of like dance from dance. Not only battle because like some some person like they don't like battle, so they cannot like follow only that way. So I try to make like more door, for they can like go and they they can find the the way they like and they can be they self and they can go like ahead with that thing. Tell me about the time where you. You either had your first big battle, or you first battled um, one of these global dancers. Like, what, what did that feel like? Uh, my like, cause, yeah. For example, um, you you learned from Aki at one point, right? Did you ever end up battling like, like someone like Aki or someone of his level? You know, like what was your experience like? Like the first time it happened. I I first met him in Vietnam. Aki in Vietnam. Yeah. Oh damn! I didn't know Aki was in Vietnam. That's cool. Uh no, he he came for for event okay. for for judging. Yeah. So I met him like finally I meet him like from like person, and then like I judging with him also like we talking and I take care of him, and later like I have a chance go to Japan for battle, and I just like random to ask him, Akisan, you wanna join the battle with me like two and two, like Jetibu, and he he surprised. And I'm surprised too because like he said yes, because like you know like he legend like really like like f- like kind of like old generation like really great and really like amazing, and I'm a new generation and I have like nothing and still like really like low, but I'm surprised like he he said yes. That's why like I push myself like a lot to like practice and then try to. Do like my side like good too, and then when 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 I join with him like 
I feel not serious about battle anymore. Kind of like I feel like why, and I know like when I together with him, maybe like our our style really different. We cannot make like the thing, but I feel like the mindset we a little bit similar of the dance. So when I join with him, like I I sort of the thing is like when I dance, he always like smile and be high, like the dad. Support the kid. <laughs> I I I can feel like that. And same way when when he dance, even I know like he older, and sometimes the body is not really listen to him, but I'm still like look at him. I feel like so proud, and he he on that age he still getting down and really strong, and he training like every day, and he love dancing like really love it. And the way he enjoyed it, and like, I feel like, wow, that is the thing I'm looking for. That is the thing I I want to see. I want to feel. Not about the winning, because the after I win, I feel like after that I feel is no more. But that thing is keep my dance is still going, still burning. So that's why like every time I I I dance with him, like we on way like, go go never stop never stop. Even like he tired. I push him like, no, we say yes, we say yet, yeah, always say yet, yeah, and we always like red getting down. It's not because like we need to practice be 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 good. No, we just put ourselves like keep going what we love, and what we enjoy still enjoy, and he do the same way to me. So, I think it's it's not easy to to get that moment. So that's why like another the person too. I try to share that vibe. To another person, it's not. Sometimes like you, you know, like before I go to US, I have the mindset is I need to be ready, because like if I go to the gym, I know like I need to be ready for someone will come me to calling me out. So for me, it's it's okay. But if I think it's serious, I will feel heavy. But yeah, it's then okay. You then I then you stop. I don't want to stop. You start right, so I want you start again. So that's why like like. And not like show up is about like it change, about like I learning from them also, so yeah, I learn a, a lot of that from, from my, my friend, my people around me. Yeah. So you, earlier you mentioned that you were judging with uh with Aki, right? Uh, tell me some of the things that you look for when you're judging. Uh. Like what? Like, do you have a criteria, or, or does it change in the moment, or is there a general list of things that you um, always look for? Mm, from resolution first, resolution I always looking two thing is like foundation, you strong or not, and also like your personality, like character original from you and the music. You you listen or you feel the music or not, because like for me like in the battle, we need a lot of thing, like the technique you need to be strong. And also like the feeling, you need to have like your old feeling, not only like boom and bap, boom and bap. I don't, I don't refer that. And then like when in the battle, actually like, I think it depend, depend like because like if I saw two great dancer, they then they battle together, I cannot see the technique anymore, because it both of them is already high level. But the thing I I I'm looking for is. Who is the one give me more feeling? Because it's even like singing or rapping, right? The one who give you more like feeling is the one I I feel they get it. But it's hard to say. It's like your feeling, my feeling, and another bit feeling is different. But for me, it's like who is the give me the more feeling and with the music. And also, like how they feel with the music, also by the technique, not only show me like technique only, because the technique maybe is like do crazy, but not make sense with the music for me is is nothing. It's same like you exercise, so for me it's like nothing. And also like the the whole thing, not only like one part, because I know like some guy like they know the song really well. 
so they know like wow but for me like i wanna see them like how they bring me from beginning to that wow because like, i wanna see the whole thing it's like your feeling you bring the people go to your story your world your your flavor so i wanna see the whole thing and not, not only like quick 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 and then oh i feel full no i don't want to feel full i want to feel full and i want to feel like the flavor of that food so same the dancer need to give me like technique of course creativity also is the music who give me the mod feeling yeah yeah uh, thank you for sharing that so let's do a play by play of of some uh, some of the, your past events whether you were battling yourself and if you were battling i would love to hear like yeah you know how how are you feeling in the moment what was going through your mind um and you know just just understand your process more and if you're judging then um let me know uh what what you're looking for in each person and uh, and so forth how did how did it feel winning in, in LA winning in LA is a big deal for popping yeah and i'm i don't know how to say like like when i start popping until now is fit session is the big competition in the world and it's history and and you know it's the culture is here so when you go there it's not easy to like to 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 do the battle because the real battle is from there so i don't know like when i go there like, I, i i didn't make myself like so stressed because like oh i need to like doing well and good but i learned one thing is like before i dance i don't know battle but i'm still love dancing but why when i battle a lot why i keep my 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 mindset is like the battle make me so stressed so i feel like it's not me it's not the reason why when i start dancing so that's why like from now on the battle i feel it's like i practice i dancing with my friend i i playing with my friend and also i play with my myself so i feel it's more comfortable but i can learn what i need to learn because some battles i feel nervous some battles i feel like something like so rushed like everything is so quick I, I, and i cannot get anything and then i start to learn like how i don't be like that anymore so i need to train so the battle it training training me to be the better person and more understand about myself it's not about win anymore yeah so that's why like now a battle for me is like really easy to to do the battle it's okay before i lose a lot but now now i win sometime and then i lose i cannot accept so why before i don't know the battle and before i lose a lot so now i lose again it's okay because it's normal because it's game right so sometimes even like your game you also you can lose sometime but it's okay because like it's good to be lose because like when i lose you know how you, why you lose you can win again one day so for me it's like now it take easy sometimes like i lose like with random battle is like people they don't understand but it's okay for me like maybe just they will have a like another view another thing so i respect that i win it's okay for me important is like now i go to the the jam or competition i only have one mindset is like i come there for make people know who i am and remember me that's it because like, i i i i understand that thing is from some event like i battle i lose like in the final or maybe like lose early but the whole event they talking about me they don't talking about the champion uh okay so i i hear that you're uh, you're you're defining your own terms of what you consider success uh, a success or not to our listeners out there we just finished a session on dance commentaries it's probably going to be edited into its own um, shorter clips for each of the battles in its own playlist and not included in the episode so make sure you check that out what are your, some of your goals and visions for the next 5 10 20 years and what do you hope to achieve or build i'm still try to more understand about my personality and also like i improve my skill because like i decide last year and this year i try to back to the battle 
because like I wanna pushing myself more growing, and also like uh, I I wanna try everything like I imagined before, because like before I live in in China two year, I decide to know not much better, and I wanna improve another skill. I forgot more about like teaching. I wanna improve my teaching skill because like I wanna find more way to sharing to the people because like like I say like many people they they have different like different case so I try to create more more way to teaching more sharing for the people they can uh, easy to to get and easy to like find themselves not only like uh you learn a technique and then you dance no I don't wanna do that so and also like last two years I I I wanna do another thing. But by dance, like commercial thing, or like I wanna improve the choreography skill for me too, because in in China that time like I need to choreography a lot, so I need to be like challenge me sometime, because like every year I wanna change, I wanna change for make my dancing is not look same, and on way like I on way want my skill is up, but on way new, but that new is like from the old one. To become new, and yeah, it's my personality. And now I try to build up the the next generation, and I try to build like small team, about only popping, but we do like many things because that generation I want to build is like not only like maybe some guy they love battle it's okay you get battle, but I want to use popping to do more more thing than the the thing everybody know is like battle so i want to do popping more like like performance more like uh, education more more stuff about like they can live with, with that and also like i want to try popping with with some art form like we, we i want to try with like maybe the fashion but i try with some like clothes but make the clothes with like dance moment like popping moment and also like i want to try with like my friend doing some art like not like showing the art like that but i want to show in the art with with the dance so i i i hope to make that small team to work with me doing some something new with the popping yeah and yeah i'm still trying to travel for learn what is the different outside and I bring back to be like in in home. For dancers going to Vietnam, what do you hope that they um, get from Vietnam, right? And also for people in Vietnam that's looking to explore dance, what do you hope that they get from these other cultures? Sometimes I feel like when you when you go someplace, beside you you're looking for about like the dance culture. I think you you must try in the the lifestyle, the lifestyle culture, because like sometimes like people are now on way try to get inspiration from from dance, but actually the dance culture take inspiration from life. So I think like I hope everyone like try to get the lifestyle because like some character I get, some flavor I I get is from the lifestyle. Maybe like, I I I go on a treat, I see some guy doing something. I can see the dance inside. So that thing is I can try to make it become like dance movement. Yeah. So I love to do and everything is inspire me is from around me and the lifestyle a lot. So that's why I love to go to not only meet dancer. I really love to go like meet some some people like they, they do another thing. Like in Vietnam like sometimes I meet another guy like they do like clothing. They do bending, they do like, like house stuff, because like, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna know, when they creative something, what they think, what the imagination, what they get, and why they think like that, and how they make it become like that. So for me, it's like really open. So that's why like, I wanna get another view, because like, if you only talking about dance, you see like. You stuck. You stuck here. 
you only like one side but you go another another house you can see like same thing but he can set up like really nice so when you back your house you can change so that's why like, I I refer to like talking with people sometimes like they maybe they they're not really good but they, I want to learn from them like what they good from their skill maybe the guy is like really good about like filming I make a symbol I can learn from him like how we can do the filming better so I can use my phone to to learn how to set up my phone like, for the looking good is we can improve about that also and yeah some some guys like they they not do really well but the painting is really, really nice and really unique and I want to know like why and how they can become like that and I, I asked them and talking with them and then I get something to change from to my my den my den thing because like sometimes like the move it just move but you change your mind it will be changed like I say already so sometimes like the bending like they think something really contemporary like really like you cannot tell but that thing too can make you like inspire also so sometimes like wow that thing i can try something so sometimes like the movement i move from here to here from beginning i learn but i guess i can see from him he, he drawing something so that's why i look at my hand i want to change the details my finger i make the finger is not like not i move like from here to here anymore so i make something like have something happen is here like maybe like animal maybe something like like flower so you see like it's not like that anymore but i make it look more like more flavor yeah more feeling and you can see the the detail and the the moment is more more life something like that so that's why like when i'm moving my 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 stuff i always like try to creative like and also i, I use the thing from the guy i learn he thinking something so i try to thinking something too yeah so that it sounds like the commonality of what you want visitors to vietnam or vietnamese people to get away going both directions is to learn the culture and learn the lifestyle like where these things come from and not just um take it at surface value Yeah, because like actually now like I mean you finally in you in US and I I talking with them a lot about the lifestyle and why why you guys do like that and why you guys don't do like that because like I can like learn something for myself for my dad also and also like I can get some new experience to get that to because like your experience is like growing for sure your dad will be growing. Because like everything, you need to be like more, more experienced, more trying, and then you can get the feeling. Because and then that feeling will help you to make yourself like more understand, and you can show that then you can see like really natural and major. Yeah. Yeah. How, how can people best support you and the Vietnamese dance community? Yeah, they really support me from beginning because like I think now I'm the one is like bring the Vietnam flag to the world. So that's why like also like that thing keep me trying to going, keep going for the next generation they they still believe is like I can do it, they can do it. And also like I want to keep myself like on way, not really like perfect way, but I try to keep it like it's the good way for people they can see then it's good. Yeah, so uh, for our for anyone who's listening to this episode, like, what's the best way for them to support you or uh, Vietnam dance culture? Mm, I think it's like in Vietnam is really nice about food and about uh, like so many good places. Think yeah, come and try and feel, and we always practice in a trees. We practice in the park, so easy to find a. You just go in the street and you see the dancer practice there, and then come and then join and then dance together. Yeah. Are there any shout outs you'd like to mention? I want to shout out to my first in my family. Yeah, I hope they still can healthy, 
stay healthy and happy so they good then I don't need to care anymore so I can like more enjoy so sometimes and I want to shout out to my crew they on way like beside me and they are the one who know me from beginning until now and they still love me even like I know like people now think me like star or something like high level or something but they are on way keep me like still like a, a member yeah grounded yeah uh, a, a, a same pupil so that's why like I feel really comfortable and that's why like, I'm still trying hard and keep my crew like growing and for the next generation and yeah and I, I want to shout out to my Vietnamese community I think it's like we don't have much a chain to go out but everyone now is really hungry and they always have a strong patience to go out and when they have to go out they always like full out of that and really patient about that so I hope they keep it held and always keep going what they love and always like go outside to show people who they are and yeah the then is the the thing can help them now so I hope everything will be good for everyone yeah and do you have any final closing thoughts for our listeners out there what would you like to close out with I think it's like it will be a lot of people watching like Vietnamese and also like another people also <laughs> I think it's like one thing I want to learn, I want to share. I, th- I think it's in the treat and community, sometimes really sensitive. And sometimes like they really try to say something about you. But I think it's just take easy, take easy. You can learn, you can listen, and then you can choice which one you want to get, which one you don't want. I just want to happy when I dance and I, I want to share that happy to everyone and just be honest with yourself like who you are now and then you, you accept and then you can grow in and yeah because then it changed me and helped me a lot and I think it can change you guys and can help you guys a lot too if you look at it like something can save you because like sometimes like I, I think like the life really fast going But I think when I, and then I can feel myself a lot. So you need to help yourself play and I protect that play a lot. So when I'm tired, I back to like dance. I feel like, yes, I can healing, I can recover and then I can fighting again. So make sure like you love everything around you. Slowly, slowly, like don't be quick. And yeah, appreciate everything come to you and nothing bad because the bad thing is the one make you stronger, make you growing and be yourself, be yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming on the show. I really appreciate you, uh, you sharing your journey, your lifestyle with us. And uh, um, I, I actually appreciate you wanting to contribute back to the Uh, Vietnamese community too yeah. so keep on doing what you're doing and then um, hopefully you'll be able to uh, come on again in the future yeah sure thank you thank you for bringing me down here for sharing everything like how I think and also like I really like Clapful like you're Vietnamese people also so I hope yeah you you can do more stuff like that for can share the good thing the good mind for people around the world because I think it's like now people only want to learning about dance but they they didn't listen about like how people think for their role because for me like how i am now is i watching a lot of documentary from people sharing so besides we we learn about dance stuff we need to learn about like rowing mindset stuff also so really appreciate for your work and bring me down here for sharing to people so i hope your show become like the big show in the future and yeah yeah i think it's really great one for the culture yeah thank, thank you so much man yeah. really appreciate your time yeah peace